Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101, and I know you're looking at the title of this video and thinking, oh, here we go again. And I'm shooting some extra clips for this video because I want to be absolutely clear. I just did a video about a week ago about stating my intentions for 2016. And in that video, I very clearly stated that I'm getting tired of doing flashlight reviews. And that's true. However, there is one caveat. When the flashlights happen to be ones that I'm really blown away by, ones that I love, ones that I think are really, really worth it, then the reviews don't bore me so much. And the two flashlights we're gonna look at today definitely fall into that category. Now it started out just being one flashlight, but I'm adding another. So back uh, two weeks or so ago when me and Will were doing the overnight thing, I shot a good portion of this video and that is on the Olight uh, SR Mini Intimidator 2. Now, the original Mini Intimidator that I reviewed, I don't know, maybe about a year ago, I wasn't so into that one. I, it, I don't know, it just felt too fat, short. It's like, eh, I get the point of it, but I don't really like it. For some reason, maybe it's just because the dimensions have changed, a little different features or whatever, but this one, this one I like. Uh, this is one of, this has become one of my key emergency kit flashlights. And strangely enough, as I started out kind of like, uh, you know, okay, Olight, I get it, but I don't, I'm, I'm used to tactical functions. They don't have a lot of those. They got a lot more general purpose. But over time, my feelings toward the brand changed. Uh, just the quality, little features like the sliding door, uh, U micro USB chargers and stuff like that, long run times. Uh, they're great. They're great. I've, and I freaking love this flashlight. I think what it, a lot of it had to do with when it comes to lights like this is I was pretty much conditioned to only like flashlights that had tactical functionality, meaning you could use it as a flashlight or you could use it, you know, with a gun or see at a distance or blind a bad guy or strike whatever but how often does that happen there's still a need for edc general purpose flashlights and in that regard uh they're great and the uniform beam the way the way they've got this lens uh it's like a honeycomb type pattern and it's shaped in such a way even though you've got three LEDs, it makes this big blast of a widespread floody light. And I love that. So we're going to go over this one here in a moment uh, from where I filmed it the other week. But I want to throw in this other one. And this is on the exact opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to O-lights. Now, when I first got this in the mail to review it in goinggear.com, provides these lights for me to test. When I first got this one in the mail, I was like, eh, you know, whatever. This is the S2 baton. And what I looked at, what my brain did at first was like, okay, well that looks pretty much like my S20R, but it doesn't have the magnetic base charger. Well, I like the magnetic base charger. So I kind of set it aside and I'm like, you know, I'll deal with it later. But then I picked it up, got it out of the box, and I'm like, wait a minute. This isn't just like an S20R that doesn't have a base charger. This is a larger S1. You know, you get these little numbers and letters and you get confused. So the S1 was the one that I was really surprised by because it had this TIR lens, which gave this really beautiful like 22 degree floody perfect even light so for general purpose use i started using this you know you hit the button and just the way that the light evenly lights up everything uh, i really quickly fell in love with this light and started edcing it and i have to say you know, I've reviewed Through Nights, and I've reviewed Phoenixes, and I've reviewed 
uh, night cores and O lights and a bunch of different lights. And I, and I like through nights a lot for the price. Uh, they do make a good flashlight, but ask myself, what am I using most these days? And as I got more O lights and I got used to them, I got used to the quality and the features, this is, I'm, I'm EDCing O lights more than any other brand right now. Take that for what it's worth. It's not like, oh, I'm standing behind Olight. I'm just telling you that's what I'm carrying. Uh, I think the S20, the S20 uh, baton, the, the S1, any of those S's that Olight's got, they're perfect EDC pocket flashlights. They're not tactical. I mean, to get to strobe, you got to do a quick three press tap which if you're in some sort of like altercation that's kind of really too hard to get into that mode so i really don't care about the strobe mode but just everyday use things like that yeah they kick ass i really really like them it took me a while to warm up to them but i really really like them and i have absolutely no problem recommending them to anybody so let's quickly go over the specs and the features of the S2 and then we will jump forward to the mini the SR mini intimidator 2 out in the woods professional here I got notes so anyway this S2 it's got the rubber button very comfortable like I said it's got the TIR lens as a very strong magnetic uh, cap so you can stick it up on metal refrigerator uh, stuff like that the maximum lumen level on this is 950 lumens and then the other levels are 400 80 10 and it has the 0.5 moonlight mode which you access by holding down the button when it's in the off position now turn it on one press hold it down that cycles through the modes. Whatever mode that you're on, you can just double press it, and that goes to this timer mode. The timer mode will shut it off in three minutes. It's, I don't know if you really need that, but you know that could be interesting. Double tap it again, that sets it timer mode for nine minutes. So, like I said, I don't know what you need that for, but it's it's definitely interesting i haven't seen another flashlight that has anything like that if you're in the off position double tap it it will immediately bump it all the way to turbo uh, it's an xm l2 cree led so this one runs for 49.95 goinggear.com and of course uh, pm101 viewers got the coupon code pm101 saves you 10 percent so yeah <laughs> I really liked it. Uh, originally, I didn't like those TIR lenses. It's like, I, I want the sharp, you know, beam and whatever, but I guess you just got to see it. You got to see it to understand when you're in a room and you hit the button and it's got that TIR lens, just the way it uniformly lights everything up uh, is pretty awesome. So there's that. I'll get some quick uh, shots with this uh, in the dark garage. Because being that it's a TIR lens and it's uh, more for EDC general purpose, it doesn't have that long, sharp beam. So I don't feel like it's going to show up as well on video, you know, like shooting out at a distance. But inside in a dark room, you'll be able to see what it does just fine. Okay, in the garage, in the dark, I am standing about 10 paces from the inside of my garage door and I am on low mode. So now I'm going to bump it up to medium, which I've said many times before, I think medium is your best general purpose uh, lumen level on most flashlights. So when you're shopping and if you're concerned about runtime, medium is the runtime that I look at the most. You don't have to blast everything uh, when you're using a flashlight. So bump it up. There's the high. Plenty bright. 
And of course I can double tap and go right to turbo. Now, if I hold the button down, that's the 0.5 lumens moonlight mode. So you're not gonna be able to see anything except what's right in your hand with moonlight mode. Strobe warning. That is a 10 hertz strobe. So I'm gonna turn that off so I don't want anybody uh, getting all twitchy on me. So there you go, that, that's the S2. Awesome, awesome EDC flashlight. Now like pretty much most O-lights, the fit and finish on this thing is pretty much outstanding. Aircraft grade aluminum, you know, all the stuff you typically find. <laughs> Stainless steel bezel. LEDs, all the specs I'm going to be putting in the annotations, so I have to try and get them off the top of my head and end up getting them wrong. The main functions, turn it on, hold it down, switch it from high, medium, low. With O lights, normally three taps, sends it to strobe mode. This has a really nice, the way the battery compartment is. You don't have to figure it out, it says right there, pretty much all three of the batteries are going to go in positive side down. Nice and watertight. And like I showed in the beginning, if you can see it right here. The thing I love about most of my newer, bigger O-lights uh, is they've got the sliding micro USB charge port. So if you don't have a charger handy to just pull the cells out and charge them, and you've been using this, whatever, you have an anchor battery system, you got a car charger, something like that, you can just open this up, plug in your charger, and charge it directly in the flashlight. That's really important to me on more of my emergency kit style flashlights. Like I mention the R40 Seeker all the time because that's my favorite out of all of them. Uh, that's got the USB port on the back, but it's not a little sliding door like this one. If it had that, I would like it even more, but you know, it's good enough as it is. So, I mean, you see what you can see. What we really wanna see is what it does at nighttime. So we have to wait a couple more hours for that, and then we'll get back to this. So it's about 20 degrees out right now and foggy. But you can see how floody this light is. And it's not like overly floody like some of the big through nights I've reviewed. This is actually pretty useful flood. It's kind of hard to see stuff with the fog. on the low mode that's just perfect for getting around I'm usually not that into the floody lights, but I really do like this one, to be honest. There's medium, high, turbo. definitely see a lot with this flood.
So there you go, guys. There's two new flashlights from Olight, uh, current EDC, and an awesome emergency flashlight that is just got a lot of got a lot of battery power, USB rechargeable, great flood. I showed you a couple alternatives, uh, but you can see why Olight has over time worn me down, uh, won me over, and it's become my preferred brand. The only other flashlight that I have that is currently seeing use that's not an Olight is my Thrunite uh, TN12 2016 edition. And this one rides on the outside of, my, outside of my hidden Woodsman haversack and a flashlight holder. So this is part of like my bag that I take around with me whenever I leave the house. But I'll have an O-Light in my pocket, and I've got O-Lights in my different kits and my different bags, and on my nightstand, it's O-Light that's got the big blinding flashlights, and it's O-Light that's attached to my pri primary firearm. So I guess it's safe to say that uh, I've kind of be unexpectedly become an O-Light guy, and you know, when I first started reviewing them, I'm just like, nah. It, it was it was a slow it was a slow creeping crawl, but man, I, I really do like them, and I see no problems with them. They're good lights. I just over time it's the same thing with knives. Over time, your tastes change. Uh, what's important to you, what features, and stuff like that, because general purpose, you know, really does the trick. Tactical type use, I mean, that's why you got you know, at least a couple like this. But I can think of about 20 billion times I've had to use a flashlight for general purpose. And I can think of zero times I've had to use a flashlight for tactical purposes. So think about that when you're trying to make a choice on what to buy. All right, guys. Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Uh, links to GoingGear.com. That's got that's you know, the main Olight place that I get mine from. Uh, they provide them for me. So, but I have bought some myself, and I have bought Olights as gifts as well. So, other than that, uh, check all the links in the description box below, and I'll be back with some more videos here soon. So, see you then.